The demo session that's included with Pro Tools Sketch is designed to help you learn how to navigate a typical sketch. Once you've launched the Pro Tools dashboard, click on the Getting Started tab and then click Open Demo Sketch to get started. To play the demo session in its entirety, click on Arrangement and then click Play. The large space in the middle of the sketch window is called the Clip Launcher. These cells are where clips are imported or recorded. Clips can be audio or MIDI that typically play back in a loop. These columns are tracks and are used to organize clips of different instruments. Tracks can either be audio tracks or instrument tracks, and they can be identified by either the waveform or keyboard icon. Instrument tracks can record and play back MIDI performances and loops. For example, this track will be playing a bass line using the synth cell instrument. Audio tracks can record and play audio samples and loops. This track is playing a synth loop. Scenes can be thought of as different parts of a song. Scenes are made up of one or more clips that play together to create the different parts of your song. For example, I can trigger the next part of the song using the play button for each scene, and all the clips in the scene will start playing on the next beat. Scenes can be triggered in any order and at any time, allowing you to break away from a rigid linear song structure. I can play any part of my song at any time to experiment with my arrangements. The media browser lets you navigate and audition loops to add to your sketch. The sound library tab contains the audio and MIDI loops included with sketch. Click the audition button next to each loop to hear what it sounds like with whatever is currently playing. The Browse tab allows you to access your personal sound collection stored on your computer, including the Loop Masters library or any Sonic Drop content that you might have. There are four main tabs at the bottom of the sketch window. Each tab allows you to access specific functionality from within your sketch depending on your track type. For instrument tracks, the Track tab is where you can trigger your virtual instruments using the on-screen keyboard and drum pads. If you click on one of the effects inserts or have an audio track selected, the track tab will display effect parameters that can be manipulated. In the editor tab, you can manipulate the audio or MIDI that you have in any given clip. For audio clips, you can reverse, trim, fade, stretch, or use one of the three selection tools on your audio. You can also adjust gain and pitch. For instrument clips, you can edit your pitch, notes, velocity, quantize values, or enable and disable loop for that track. The mixer tab is where you can adjust track volume, pan, and global effect sets. You can also insert effect plugins to each track. If you send audio to the delay or reverb effects in your mixer window, you can manipulate those delay and reverb types in the global effects tab. The controls for the effects can be manipulated using an XY grid. The IO section allows you to set audio and MIDI routing, as well as send audio to and from Pro Tools sessions. On the right-hand side of the sketch window, the metronome icon will toggle the metronome on and off, and clicking here will open your sketch settings. When you're ready to arrange your sketch, you can drag your scenes into the scene arranger in the order you want them to play, and even rearrange the order. Once you have an arrangement that you're happy with, you can then export a WAV file. If you have an open Pro Tools session, the pin button will attach your sketch to the session so that the two always open together. With a Pro Tools session open, you can use Sync to lock your sketch tempo to your Pro Tools session tempo and transport control. Sketch even lets you bring clips, scenes, or even entire arrangements into the Pro Tools timeline for further editing and mixing. Hopefully this tour was helpful in giving you an overview of the new Pro Tools Sketch window. 
be sure to check out our other videos that will take you through creating your own sketches. And also be sure to check out the free Pro Tools Sketch iPad app available from the App Store. Thank <laughs> you.